Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, uh, February 17, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So Bitcoin did pass 50,000 today and then broke down quite aggressively. We're still in the green today, but we did rally all the way up towards 50,336 and then we broke down. At this point, uh, breakdown towards the 20 exponential that is just above these previous highs here should offer a lot of support. Break below that, then we're heading towards these previous highs at roughly 30,000. 30, that should also be... Uh, where area where buyers should were should come back in and uh, if we go even lower then we have the 50,000 at the 36,700 i would be very surprised if we got down to that area i think that a break towards the 20 exponential that's where a lot of buyers will come back in and pressure this up we have broken 50,000 uh if we start trading above that then we are going to 55,000 and then to 60 and um yes this market is remarkably resilient considering how overstretched and overbought this market technically is. Technical indicators are, if you can see the MACD, is uh, slowly turning around here. So we could see something similar to this, a flag pattern before we go significantly higher. So if you see the MACD crossing the signal line here, that could be an indication that we'll see something similar to this where we have a month where we basically drag gradually go towards 40,000 and then go back to the upside. So we are we are on the edge of being overbought. I almost said significantly overbought, but we're on the edge of being overbought. We're at 70. If you look at the weekly chart for Bitcoin, we can see that we're at 85. So here we are significantly overbought. And it would make sense if we drop towards uh, uh, 40,000. That is these previous highs here. And yes, that would... Um, that is very similar to what basically happened here when we broke, broke 40,000. So let's look at Ethereum. So we, the 20 exponential is basically the floor in this market. You know, it has been acting as a floor in this market. We did break it uh, a few times back here, but then we rallied above it. We haven't been trading underneath the 20 exponential for a very, very long time. We have to go all the way back here. This was basically in the beginning of September last year, since uh, was the last time we were trading underneath the 20 exponential. So pullbacks towards the 20, as we saw here, um, are buying opportunities. A lot of people started buying here. That's why we shut up uh, around this area. So we could go and retest this again. And I think that we're going to see something similar uh, to what we saw um, when we were in this breakdown. We will rally, break down, rally, and then we'll uh, cross 2,000 at some point. A break below 20 exponential opens the door to 1,500 and the 50 moving average down here at 1,332. Uh, but I think that we're just going to see more of the same. If the 20 exponential... Uh, behaves in the same pattern then we'll just go gradually above 20 uh, 2000 and then we'll go to 2500 technical indicators are turning around macd has crossed the signal line so casting has crossed the signal line and both the cci and the rsi are pointing to lower levels we can look at the weekly chart here and you can just see how parabolic this market basically has been so we could also drop towards the previous highs here and that is roughly uh, 1400 but 1500 i think would be where a lot of people would show a lot of interest for this we can still look at the bollinger band to see how far we are outside we're out we're inside now but we were way outside in the weekly chart so yes at this point pullbacks towards the 20 exponential that should be or has been in the past uh, very supportive and uh, break below that opens the door to the 50 moving average yes let's look at ADA so this is the 
competition to to Ethereum, and this was went completely parabolical when we were around the beginning of February. It rallied from 0 0.36, give or take, 33, all the way up towards uh, 0 0.96. So almost, well, 200% in, well, two weeks, give or take. After a rally like that, you have to have a major pullback, and that's basically what we saw. So this is very interesting because the 20 exponential acted as a major support for this cryptocurrency. At the moment, we are in the green, but it looks like we are slowly going towards the 20 exponential moving average. Looks like we're going to create a flag pattern here, a bullish flag pattern, and then we're going to take off towards uh, $1. If we break $1, then we're going to $1.25 and then $1.50. Technical indicators are fairly all over the place. RSI is still significantly overbought, so there's a lot of room to the downside at this point. I think quite a lot of buyers will come back in around 0 0.75. 20 moving average will move this way in as well, so that is an area where you should look at because there's probably where we're going to take off to the next uh, to the next um, upside. Break below the 20 exponential opens the door to 0 0.5 and the 50 moving average at 0 0.5. 42. So let's look at the uh, Litcoin. So also here, 20 and 50 have proven to be the floor for this cryptocurrency. We rallied all the way up to 226, broke down significantly here on Monday, and then we rallied again up towards uh, 219, and now we're trading at 205. It looks like 200 is, there's a lot of uh, support around 200 area, but the 20 exponential, it is very likely that will go gradually down towards the 20. And if that breaks, we'll go towards the 50 at 151. And this area should be uh, very interesting if we ever get to that, to that level. 20 exponential should be major support as well. We also have the previous highs here, which will act as support. So 175 will mostly be as far as this will go. So if you look at the Fibonacci retracement for this, we can also see that the first Fibonacci retracement is at 187 and the next is at 175, 74, give or take around this area here, should probably be as far as this will go. But we, it looks like most of these cryptocurrencies are taking a break. They are have been rallying for the last two weeks, some of them up to 200, 300% in two weeks. So a pullback is expected. It is impossible to keep that momentum up. So it looks like we're going to create a similar pattern here down towards the 20 or the 50 and then take off towards 100, uh, 250. Technical indicators are slowly turning around. We are not overbought at this point, but pullback is very likely. So let's look at NEO. So also here, we did rally from the beginning of the February or basically just one and a half week from $24 all the way up towards $46. So nearly 100 points, 100% uh, in just this amount of time. After that, you should expect a pullback. We did pull back all the way down towards uh, 36 uh, and a half. And then we rallied again. And now we're trading at 40, uh, $40 and uh, 29, 29. So technical indicators are turning around. We are still overbought. So this could, if you look at the Fibonacci retracement, take it here. So we found support there. That's the first Fibonacci retracement. We could also fall to the next one, which is the 50. That's at $34. And if we break that, then we go towards the, uh, the 61.8, and that's around $30. So this cryptocurrency has a long way to go if it wants to um, catch its previous highs. We can see back in 2017, it was all the way up to 144 dollars and now we're just well this doesn't look very very um impressive when considering this massive move here so it has a long way to go if it wants to retake these previous sides 
whether or not we uh, the cryptocurrency market will keep momentum going for this to get catch up to this level here uh well basically see it is uh, mostly bitcoin that will determine that as long as that um continues to grow um it will most likely um, carry most of these uh, smaller cryptocurrency with it so let's look at from so also here we had this massive move from 0.03 all the way up towards 0.05 and then we broke down towards 0.04 and now we're trading at 0.05 so this is one of the very cheap cryptocurrencies when comparing to a Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, but it, the pattern is still the same. We have this massive rally here in the beginning of February, all the way up towards a significant uh, resistance, and now we're slowly breaking down towards the 20 exponential moving average. So it's interesting because the 20 exponential is right where we saw this massive spike here, and this was basically the Reddit group, as I understand that basically. Uh, tried to rally this cryptocurrency and the same was for XRP um, but at this point break down towards the 20 exponential moving average at 0 .0, 0 0.0432 that should um, offer a lot of interest to buyers and they will most likely enter this area here break down below this opens the door all the way down to the 50 at 0 .0, 0 0.0336 so I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.